What is up guys, Casey here, and in this episode, we're gonna be setting up the rest of our social media app so that in the next video we can add in the data and make it an actual social media app. So to get started, let's open up our file and go back to our social media.xc workspace file. Today we're gonna to be working on main.storyboard mainly. Um, we're we're gonna be getting the UI of the app working. So I'm gonna pull up the design so we know what to base our design off of. I use Sketch, it's a pretty good uh, editing tool. All right, so here's our app, right? Um, as you can see here, this is the cell, okay? We, we may change some stuff up, maybe not as wide of spacing, uh, maybe Maybe there's a different border thickness or whatever. Maybe the radius isn't as big. But in general, we're going to keep it at the same. Uh, so let's see here. The height is 265. Okay, is that how high this is? Let's change that to 265. Okay. Okay, we're going to throw an image in here. UI image. Okay. Pull it down about there. Uh, let's see how high the image actually is. 227. Almost. And then we'll put the width. 265. 265. Alright. 265. Let's recenter this. And we're going to align it. Um, actually, you know it's a really good idea? Um... Let's get a view, right? And let's just throw this stuff inside of the view so we can get that nice border and everything like that with the view, right? We can just customize uh, the views class. That's a good idea. All right, and then let's just throw this image inside of the view. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Let's, uh, Let's append this view. Okay, so we're going to align it horizontally. And then we're going to pin it from the top. And then zero from the bottom. And then we're just going to get a fixed width and height. Okay. So everything's good there. Now let's uh, pin this to the sides of it. And then just give it a fixed height. Okay, and then down here, so we have text, label, so I'm guessing a person clicks the like button, so that's going to be a button, and the number is going to go up, this will be the user's username, and their profile image, okay, so the goat, the little kid right there, like 65, okay, so let's start out with uh, the image. Yeah, that's gonna be down here. It's gonna be super small. Super small. Let's get the actual dimensions. It's gonna be 44 by 34. Okay. Wait a second. No, it's going to be uh, 34 by 34, or let's do 30 by 30. Okay, and then let's give it a good spacing. Okay, that's fine right there. Let's uh, pin that. Four, four, and six. All right, that's fair. Uh, let's just do four, just to keep everything aligned. And then we need to give it a... A fixed width. And then update. Okay. Now we need a label. So two labels actually. So let's just uh, let's just put both labels out right now. Label one, label two. Okay. This label is going to be aligned with the image. So let's just 
Let's just select both of those. So image and the label, okay. And hold command to select both. And we're gonna click align and vertical center. And then just click add one, okay. And then let's give it this width. You can drag it out however far you want. That'll just be like the max that they can do. Okay. And um, so on this, let's edit. Let's change the font. Uh, black on white doesn't look good, so we just do a dark gray. Okay. Ooh, darker. All right, it looks better. It's not like, I mean, you can do your own design and stuff. Let's put in a name, uh, the, okay, that's my username. Looking good, ah, maybe a little bit too big, huh? We just need to give this a fixed height. All right. Let's just, uh, actually, let's just delete the, uh, a line to top of label. What? Let's delete this. Center align, okay. And, uh, trailing space. We don't need a trailing space. Top space. Okay, it all looks good, right? Now, all we need to do is add, oh, are we good? No, we need to add one more to the bottom. Let's do that at eight. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, do we have a height, a fixed height? Yeah, delete the height. There we go. All right, so that is good. Here is the constraints if you need to review them. Uh, that's all I did, and I added uh, my own text in it, okay? So now this label, it's going to have like 26 likes, right? Someone liked my post 26 times. Let's make that font a little bit smaller. Maybe not too small. Okay. Let's just pin this right here. Um, eight, 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 three constraints update. Okay. And then we need a button. UI button. Okay, throw that on here. All right. Now, uh, a really good idea would be to put this all in a stack view. Uh, I'm not really teaching what a stack view is today. Uh, future video for sure I will. But just like if you know what a stack view is, the best option is to put this stuff in a stack view. If you don't uh, look it up or uh, wait till I make another video on it. So on this button, it's gonna say like, okay? So if somebody taps it, boom, they like it. They tap it again, it unlikes. Tap it again, likes, tap it again, unlike. Kinda like Instagram, cause that's very similar style of this app, okay? So where it says like, uh, click on that. We can change the text color to uh, red, maybe when they like it. And then if they don't like it, Turn it back to a dark gray. I guess that's a good idea. Uh, a way to kind of keep it in our own style. Okay. Um, it says we need something for this. Let's see. Do we have top space? Yeah, we have a top space. I don't know what happened to that. What is going on here? Oh, bottom space. We got rid of the bottom space. Oh, four though. We need that to be four. Add one constraint. And then just update. Oh, there we go. All right. And now let's just add the constraints for this one. Um, it doesn't need to be that wide, especially if it's only going to say like. Especially if it's only going to say like. Um, height doesn't really matter. Um, so we can three, three is fine. Maybe a bigger button so it's easier for people to tap and then eight from the side and then give it a width. 
Okay, there we go. Now, uh, important thing to do on the name, in case somebody has a name that's like 30 characters long, uh, in your code you can add it so that they don't make a name that long, because that's kind of ridiculous. But, I guarantee you somebody's going to try, right? So, we need to add, so the longer the text is right here, so auto shrink, right? A minimum font scale, or you do font size. So, uh... I don't know, 8, I guess that's fine. Uh, Titan letter spacing, spacing as well. So, in case they have a really long name, it's just gonna get smaller. So, uh, it fits instead of dot dot dot. So, that's that. Um, maybe we change this to red as well. Okay, so it's looking good. So, next thing we need to do, um, in our fake mock-up right here, you see how, well, first off, the view has rounded corners, okay, so we're gonna, and then two, the user's image is a circle, so we also need to write code in order to do that. So first we'll do the image and then the view, okay? So over here in our folder, let's click uh, new group, okay, and we're gonna name this view, okay? And in the view, uh, file new, or new file, I guess. Cocoa Touch class next. And this is going to be a UI image. View. Okay. Class is, uh, let's call, let's call this a circle image. Okay, that's fine. Make sure it's swift, click next. Targets is selected. Okay, awesome. So now we're in here. We're gonna say super or uh, we're gonna say awake from nib, away from nib, and then super dot awake from nib. Now we can say uh, self dot layer dot corner, oh, corner radius, right, is going to equal um, self dot frame dot width divided by two. So let's say that. Now let's go back over to our main.storyboard and on this image, tap there and click on the custom class right there and it's gonna be a circle image okay so now we'll put an image in there it's gonna be in a circle perfect now we need to do that with the UI view so let's save that now let's head back over to our view and say new file Cocoa touch class UI uh, UI view and we're gonna name this rounded view okay and then next make sure targets is selected create and in here, same thing, awake from nib, super dot awake from nib, okay. And then we're gonna say in here, self dot corner radius. Oh, uh, before I forget, let's head back to a circle image. And uh, we need to also say self dot click, uh, self dot clip to bounds, right? Equals true. Otherwise, uh, the image won't actually be in a circle because it's not clipping to the bounds of the UI image. Okay, and then we're gonna say self dot layer dot corner radius is equal to so 20, and then uh, maybe we can do uh, clip to bounds self dot clip to bounds. All right, um, now let's run it. So let's actually add um, fake images uh, just so that we can uh, see. It doesn't matter where you get your images from, just uh, boom, there's one. Let's do a couple random images. Now let's go back to our main the storyboard. And here we can uh, select the image. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I want the sparkle right there. And then the uh, home office one there. Um, okay, that's another important thing. Content mode is going to be aspect fill. Okay. And on here, we can uh, go down here to the bottom, say clip to bounce. Perfect. 
Uh, same on here, it's already done, but if you want, clip the bound, also aspect fill. Perfect. Now let's run it. So you can do Command R to run uh, a little bit faster when you're developing, or you can still go up and click the play button. I prefer Command R, it's just way faster. Saves a uh, time. So let's run it. So it's working and all. Um, we'll have to uh, add the uh, cells, which we're going to do in the next video. So yeah, the code isn't implemented yet. Uh, we can do the first step of that. Um, we'll just add the view controller. So new file. Uh, Cuckoo Touch class, yes. UI view controller, okay. And we're going to name it um, feed VC. Okay, that's where our feed's gonna be next. Uh, make sure target's selected, create. Okay, awesome. We don't need to do anything. Uh, we're just getting it all set up. And then go back to our main side of storyboard, click on the view controller. The class is going to be feed VC. Enter. Oh. Enter, voila, save that, and we're done for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Have a good one.